Borderline personality disorder is a highly complex mental health condition diagnosed predominantly in women aged 18 years and above. It is characterized by unstable emotions, relationships, sense of self, as well as impulsive and self-damaging behaviors. It is difficult to treat and has a rate of completed suicide that is 50 times higher than the general population. Interestingly though, as individuals with BPD enter into their 30s, the key diagnostic symptoms of extreme emotionality and impulsive and self-damaging behaviors tend to reduce significantly. However, what really changes is the outward expression of this condition, from previously being akin to a rapid storm to now a state of quiet desperation. This is particularly concerning as it makes it harder to identify and help them, especially considering that those within the ages of 30 to 45 have higher rates of completed suicide compared to their younger counterparts. This raises several questions such as why this age group is particularly vulnerable while not as volatile? And what about those aged 45 and above? What changes and what doesn't? While there's substantial evidence indicating age-related differences across a lifespan for the more observable symptoms of BPD, the evidence is simply lacking for the symptom of emptiness, a symptom unique to BPD. Given emptiness is also the only symptom of BPD, to be significantly associated with all indices of psychosocial impairment, such as suicidal ideation, number of suicide attempts and hospitalizations, social and work-related dysfunction, as well as the existence of other clinical conditions, it merits more focused attention. This is where my research comes in. I compared the experience of emptiness in two groups of women with BPD, those aged 30 to 45 and 50 to 65. The findings reveal emptiness to be not only more prevalent, but also of a significantly greater degree in those aged 30 to 45. This supports the notion that as the more visible symptoms of BPD diminish, a sense of emptiness pervades. Now, this has three important implications. First, the results unequivocally demonstrate that this condition passes through different stages with different symptoms taking primacy in each stage, suggesting a clinical staging for this condition. Second, given the increased rates of completed suicide in this age group and higher levels of emptiness increasing the likelihood of repeated suicide attempts, it becomes imperative to integrate interventions that address feelings of emptiness within current psychological therapies. Finally, while it may not be possible to eradicate emptiness, addressing it could significantly decrease the rates of suicide in this age group and reduce the severity of this issue in the older age groups. Thank you.